Hello everyone, uh, my name is Yella, uh, very excited to be here. Um, my talk is going to be about 6 slow pan and PKTCP and how to support new link layer uh, types. Uh, but first of all I'm going to give a, a short introduction because uh, and afterwards, I'll give a small, a really small demonstration. A bit louder. Ah, yeah. Okay. Um, so, what is Pika TCP? First of all, uh, Pika TCP is an embedded TCP/IP stack uh, for the Internet of Things. It was a. Uh, it's mostly backed by uh, Altran Intelligent Systems. Those guys. Uh, and it's developed from scratch with an eye on the Internet of Things uh, revolution. And it's f the first commit was in uh, January two thousand and twelve. Uh, where the, 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 the three like key uh, goals were to make a modular and a qualitative and a portable TCP IP stack. So, uh, for example, portable, it works with uh, various uh, operating systems on various devices, uh, like, for example, Frosted OS, which uh, I talk uh, in some hours. Uh, Supports Pico TCP as well. Modularity: every module is so like yeah, you can switch it on and switch it off, compile it in, compile it out, and that etc. And uh, also, quality is a very high uh, high uh, priority on Pico TCP. It's uh, published under the GPL v2 license, but soon it will be also be published under GPL v3. Uh, but more on that later. Then. About six low pan. What is six low pan for those who don't know six low pans? Uh, six low pan is uh, stands for uh, IPv6 over low rate and lossy personal area networks. Uh, what's in the name? <laughs> I didn't invent it. Uh, it's an uh, adaption layer and optimization layer that doesn't really fit in the in the regular TCP/IP protocol suite. It's really it's squeezed between the the network layer and the link layer. Uh, between IPv6 and uh, the 802.15.4 uh, link layer. Uh, this is how a regular uh, standard uh, six low pass stack look like. Looks like UDP uh, as a transport layer, IPv6 with IPv6 neighbor discovery as well. Uh, six low pan, which uh, provides the compression and fragmentation because those links most of the time of like an MTU of 125 bytes, for example, of 100, uh, yeah, small MTUs. And so the, the frames have to be compressed and fragmented because IPv6 have uh, uh, 1,500 uh, bytes in a, in a single frame. So uh, that's what 6 low prime provides. Uh, but most of the, the stacks in the, uh, uh, available, they only support like only 802.15.4 which is really cool uh, and they also support NOMAC that you that you just uh, provide a 6 slow pump buffer and do whatever you want with it. But uh, I wanted to go a little bit further because there are a lot of uh, new uh, like uh, physical uh, physical radios uh, like uh, radio standards like Bluetooth has a new standard uh, uh, coming out. Uh, maybe you want it over yeah any any radio you want uh, want a six low IPv6 over those radio links, uh, then we should uh, provide the the capability to extend it further than only the 802.15.4 uh, standard. So that was my goal really uh, to do. Oh, uh, then I'll give a, now I'll give a small demo. Fuck code. <laughs> uh, so. I unfortunately I couldn't finish a real uh, uh, fancy demo with meshing and everything because I'm still working on the meshing part, uh, which is a mesh under topology, so it meshes on the uh, at link layer uh, level. Um, but now I have a virtual demo, so we have a, a virtual radio network. Um, in Pico TCP that can simulate radios, and I've I just to give you uh, uh, a sense of the the the, the flexibility of six low pan in Pico TCP. I just set up some some timer events that uh, change the MTU, MTU of the the device for like for example to 127 uh, to 80 uh, bytes, and later on it it it, it uh, changes to 200 bytes. So it's really flexible and. Uh, uh, so the six low pan in Pico TCP adapts to that. So I'll first start uh, 
this. So this is the radio driver. Oops. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, I'm gonna compile again. <laughs> because the radio driver sometimes is a little bit, uh, yeah, it's not the best. <laughs> but it works. Seriously, what the fuck? Come on! <laughs> uh, <coughs> wait. Seriously. This is embarrassing. Yeah, so the radio... Uh, oh, wait, maybe I'll... <laughs> no, 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 I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> okay, but uh, I've uh, added a, a PCAP driver that... Uh, uh, yeah, it captures the device's uh, messages that it sends. And uh, so we're now probably going to see, uh, yeah, this one. So now, first of all, we have uh, like an MTU of uh, 125 bytes uh, for IEEE 802.15.4. Uh, so the, the, the fragmentation and the compression layer adapts to that. Uh, but after a while, uh, the, the, the MTU is changed to 80 bytes. Uh, where is it? Ah, here. And then uh, the adaption layer, yeah, it just it compresses it and then fragments it further to 80 bytes. Uh, and then uh, later, uh, at a later point, the compression isn't needed anymore. Uh, so it just... Uh, it has an MTU of 200 uh, bytes and it fits inside an entire packet and uh, it doesn't need to fragment it and compress it anymore. Uh, so that's just uh, uh, to give you an idea about uh, yeah, the, the compression, the flexibility of a six loop. And, and so how does six loop and picket TCP look like? Uh, you, we have the IPv6. Uh, module, the 6-LOPA module, which provides the compression and fragmentation. And then we have another module, 6-LOPA uh, link layer, and uh, this, this allows to easily interchange the, the MAC layer, the, the, the link layer itself, um, to provide other uh, support for other uh, uh, devices. By the way, uh, the, the same application is running at the moment on these, uh, these two devices, uh, just a blinky application that... Uh, yeah. That's it. Uh, how does it work? So when IPv6 want to send uh, a, a frame, so we have the IPv6 module on top, then the 6 low module, and then the 6 low link layer module. Uh, so every module in Picket TCP looks like this. Every protocol has its own two, two queues, like the in-going queue and the outgoing queue. They, have, uh, they can hold multiple frames at once. Uh, and then next to that, we have the Picket TCP stack itself uh, with the scheduler uh, and, and, and everything and uh, yeah, functions. So if I press the 6 to sends a frame, it sends it to the stack, which enqueues it into the 6 low pan queue, outgoing queue. Uh, after which, at the moment, uh, uh, at some point, the scheduler calls uh, process out of the 6 low pan and it de dequeues it uh, and then uh, starts processing it. And what, is it. what does it do? It first gets the link layer addresses from the neighbor discovery table. Uh, uh, yeah, from the IPv6 addresses, addresses, and then it immediately pushes uh, the frame to the 6 low panel link layer uh, to check if it fits uh, uh, inside a single MTU. Uh, and if it doesn't, 
the link layer is going to give back the available bytes, and then uh, the, the, the six slope and adaption layer starts compressing and uh, fragmentation. And then eventually, when, if, when it does fit, then it uh, enqueues it in uh, the outgoing queue of six slope and link layer, uh, the module. And then afterwards, uh, the scheduler calls again uh, the, the, the six slope and link layer module to process the frame, and then it goes to the device driver eventually. Uh, so that's, that's how it works. Uh, the six slope and link layer uh, itself uh, is based on extensions. So we have uh, several extensions that we can add and, 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 and uh, uh, remove from the, 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 the link layer. And so two are currently installed, like Pico Mesh, which, which is uh, on which I'm working now, uh, and six slope and uh, link layer Mac. And they have to provide three functionalities, so estimation to see uh, if they prepend their header for processing, uh, if uh, the available bytes is sufficient for uh, the, 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 the six low pan frame that has to fit in it. Uh, process in is uh, just uh, when an incoming frame has to be handled and process out for an outgoing frame. And so uh, we define a six slope and link layer protocol structure to, to, to make it easily uh, interchangeable for different uh, protocols. Uh, and they have to uh, adhere these functional, uh, they have to implement these functionalities. So process in, process out, and estimate, I just explained. Ah, no, estimate is double, sorry. <laughs> and then uh, address from network because uh, it has to uh, translate IPv6 address uh, to, to uh, uh, a link layer address. It has, has to get it from the data discovery tables or, uh, or something. Uh, it has to know the, the length of the address, of the, li uh, the link layer address. Uh, it has to be able to compare the address and also to uh, derive an interface identifier, an uh, IPv6 inter uh, interface identifier uh, from the link layer address. Uh, which can be derived uh, uh, from the extended universal identifier 64 bit or from 16 bit short addresses. Um, so, uh, and we define Pico link layer address for that so that uh, it's, it's, it's a generic uh, version of link layer addresses. Uh, then a, pic, a Pico de a device, a six loop and device, look, uh, just as two. Uh, yeah, functions it has to implement, uh, send and poll to send to transmit the frame on the wire and uh, poll to see if there, uh, something has to be done or uh, uh, an incoming frame uh, is, is, is uh, <coughs> yeah, there is an incoming frame or something. Um, so if you want to implement six loop and for your radio, you have to imp uh, write a device driver first of all, define define how to you, you, you're going to use addresses like e, yeah, EUI 64 extended addresses or short addresses and uh, then write some helper functions uh, register them in uh, Pico TCP uh, with that device on the initialization of that device and then uh, it just works with that uh, uh, implementation of the link layer protocol and then you're done uh, so I have spent a, a while implementing six slope and I have some thoughts about uh, well it is actually uh, good six low pan because it's kind of weird if you think about it that it's 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 uh, it says over IPv6 over uh, low rate and lossy wireless uh, networks but if for low power it, it's kind of weird because so the entire TCP IP stack says uh, yeah, okay, here's my framing, here's my formatting, IPv6, and et cetera, et cetera. And then six lope and says in, uh, at once, like, yeah, fuck it, I don't care. Uh, I'm just going to remove it all and compress it. And it, it's kind of computationally expensive to do. So uh, I, I find it kind of weird that, it, uh, that it's uh, so low power. If I think I can, uh, it's uh, more easy to. But. Uh, the, the good thing about 6 Lopan is that it's standardized TCP IP future set you can use. Uh, you can use fancy things like DNS, for example, or uh, co-op, or uh, uh, a cool thing. I also worked on uh, a DNS-based service discovery on uh, Pico TCP, which is kind of cool if, if every device uh, 
re uh, registers their own service and then now it's on the network through six loop and that would be really cool and then you have these sensors with uh, their own service they can provide uh, announced on the on the network uh, so <coughs> quite low power applications uh, yeah mesh topologies with uh, IPv6 addressing uh, and also another uh, application would be to bridge different uh, radio links like I just said you can also uh, like uh, this device can for example support IEEE 802.15.4 but another device with the same stack can use uh, uh, Bluetooth low energy for example uh, uh, so that's kind of cool to have uh, <laughs> and with these different protocols everywhere uh, this is maybe not that bad. Uh, not a bad idea. Um, so this is uh, my <laughs> final slide. Uh, Pico TCP is going to have an, uh, a release next week, which uh, uh, includes six low pass support and uh, GPL v2 three licensing plus uh, GPL v2 licensing. And uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Are there any questions? Ah, yeah. Don't forget to repeat yeah. the question. Okay. <laughs> About the licensing and bad software, and <laughs> software and you have your own application and sell a product. <coughs> you have multiple microphones and GPLP2 and V3. Uh, you know, but the link <coughs> because you static link inside firmware. Yeah. How, how this works? Uh, for example, if so So the question is, how does it work with uh, uh, GPL v2 and GPL v3 licensing with uh, static linking, linking on uh, embedded devices? Uh, what if applications have to u have to use the uh, GPL v2 and GPL v3 as well? Uh, I'm, I have to be honest, I don't know a lot about licensing. <laughs> I know, uh, so I'm maybe gonna give the word to uh, uh, Fredrik, yeah. who knows. What, will you repeat for the recording then? Yeah. Uh, in, in very brief, uh, if you use the GPL version, then yes, you're forced to also open source your code. Uh, there is also a commercial option available uh, for people PCP where basically you pay for license, and then you are allowed to open source. Okay, so if you make money with it, yeah, sorry. Um, uh, so if you, there is also a, a license for uh, commercial uh, applications, and then if you pay for it, you can use it in your uh, uh, proprietary application. So uh, that's. Any more questions? question about all the compression schemes you're supporting. So there's the old HC1, HC2, there's IPHC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're also supporting Nexeter compression? Uh, yeah. Uh, so the question is, uh, there are different compression schemes in 6LOPEL, like uh, uh, HE0 and HE UDP uh, in RFC 4944. Nine, no, but uh, they're a, a little deprecated, so we don't support those. Uh, we support uh, IPHC compression and next other uh, UDP compression we support. It's also in the same uh, uh, RFC. But there is also the generic, uh, which is uh, uh, coming out in Ale. It's, 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 it's a proposal, an RFC proposal, I think. It's already available. It's already available? <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. So uh, the, the generic uh, header compression, we don't uh, implement yet. Yeah. More questions? Yeah. Uh, just the helper functions. Are they just interfaces they have to do in your uh, device driver to you know, talk? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can. <coughs> ah, yeah, sorry. So the, 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 the helper functions? Yeah, it's just interface. Yeah, yeah it's the interface with the with, uh, with, uh, link layer, like uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, no, here. Yeah, it's the interface with uh, the the link layer protocol. Uh, so those you can register them with the initialization of the device. So you can assign a different link layer protocol to any to a different device. 
So uh, that makes it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, if you, uh, Development is called TCP. Do you actually do TCP? Ah, yeah, we do TCP. Okay. Ah, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, so the question was, uh, we're called Pico TCP. Do we actually do Pico TCP? Uh, do we do TCP? Yeah, we do TCP as well, but that's not really uh, 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 advised with uh, six low pan because they're lost in networks. Their uh, connection, uh, it would be better to use a connectionless protocol like UDP. So a standard six low pan stack uh, most often uses UDP uh, for that. Uh, you know, I'm more or less what's the uh, footprint in memory and in energy using TCP instead of using... Uh, I wouldn't know. It's TCP requires uh, yeah, somewhat more. <laughs> uh, but now with UDP we have, uh, I don't know, it's around 100k flash, but that's, uh, that's with... Uh, that's with uh, Debugging symbols in. So, if we put the uh, TCP in, I wouldn't know exactly how much uh, it would add to the Th to the stack. There have been uh, talks about Pico TCP in this dev room or uh, in the embedded dev room uh, previous years, which focus on the TCP part and on the memory footprint and size. So you could check those, okay. uh, and then you'll get a lot of figures. And I guess also on your website. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they are <laughs> non-related to the six low pen, which yeah, is indeed, presented yeah. here. Okay, okay. Because we support other uh, yeah, uh, protocols. Uh, we don't. This, this is just uh, the six low pen part of Pico TCP. It's only a small part. We do much more than uh, only uh, six low pen. Any more questions? Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you.